In this piece, we'll be delving into the world of small body acoustic guitars, also commonly called parlor guitars. We'll be unpacking one, two, three, four, five reasons why I think you will love them. Bigger isn't always better. And in fact, what's considered big in the world of guitars changes over time. This guitar I'm holding here is a 1920 Martin 0018, which was one of Martin's largest guitars at the time it was created. And this was the size that most people wanted. But aesthetics and preferences change. Today, larger bodied guitars, which translate into a more bass heavy sound, are the preference for most people. But does that mean that the small bodied guitar simply isn't good anymore? Definitely not. As I've mentioned previously, it was simply a change in aesthetic preferences and preferences are subjective. So just because majority of people gravitate towards something doesn't mean that you have to as well. So now here are one, two, three, four, five reasons why you might find a small bodied guitar to be the perfect fit for you. Number one is a balanced tone. A balanced tone refers to an even distribution of various musical qualities across the frequency spectrum. These qualities include volume, how loud or how soft, and sustain, how long a note lasts, and timbre, basically the sound quality of each note. So while a larger guitar tends to emphasize the bass frequencies, which many people like, a smaller guitar has more of an even tone throughout the frequency spectrum. Bass notes don't overpower the trebles, and the notes seem to blend and complement one another a little bit more equally. But now, is a balanced tone necessarily a good thing? Well, it depends on your personal preference, the style of music you play, and your role as a guitarist. So for me, I'm a solo fingerstyle guitarist, and I love to emphasize the melody in my arrangements. So I love to have a balanced tone where the trebles can sing clearly without being buried by the bass notes. But on the other hand, if you love Travis picking or any other style which requires a constant pounding bass note, you might prefer a larger bodied guitar where the basses are more emphasized. So when you're shopping for guitars, the big bassy ones tend to immediately sound richer, fuller, and better at the first strum. However, my recommendation is not to be tricked and lulled by this booming bass as the guitar may actually be a little bit too boomy for you. So what I recommend you to do is to play both large and small bodied guitars and slowly decide which gives you more musical satisfaction over a long period of time. Now, the second reason why you might love a small bodied guitar is a shorter scale length. Now, scale length refers to the length between the nut and the saddle of the guitar. Smaller body guitars tend, though not all of them do, but most of them tend to have a shorter scale length. My Martin 0018 has a scale length of 24.9 inches, which is short compared to larger guitars, which are in the range of 25.5 inches. So a shorter scale length translates to less tension in the strings, making it easier to play and execute bends. Tonally, a shorter scale also tends to sound mellower and softer, as opposed to brighter and louder on a larger guitar. But which you prefer is ultimately subjective, but do try out a short scale guitar because you might just like it. Now, the next thing, the third thing that might draw you to a small body guitar is the adaptability of its size. 
Nowadays, steel string guitars tend to be much larger than their nylon counterparts. However, a double O size guitar like the one I'm using here is probably the closest equivalent in size to a classical or flamenco guitar. And what this means is that you can easily switch between a classical and steel string guitar without having to reorientate yourself too much between them. This is of great benefit if you're someone like me who plays multiple styles of music that require different guitars. And I personally study flamenco guitar. And playing flamenco material on my steel string guitar feels really comfortable because of their similarity in size. Now the fourth thing that's gonna draw you to a small body guitar is portability. A big plus for me is that the small body guitar is simply more portable. A smaller body translates to less weight, less bulk, and ultimately greater convenience, especially if you're someone who loves to take your guitar out. While I wouldn't necessarily pick a small bodied guitar just for portability, I see it as a big bonus on top of all the other benefits it already provides. Alternatively, if you already have a large bodied guitar, perhaps getting a smaller one just for your travels would be a great idea. Now, the fifth and last reason is overall comfort, all right? Generally, smaller bodies simply feel more comfortable to hold and play. Of course, this varies from person to person, but generally a guitar with less bulk, generally in the depth department, is more comfortable. I find myself able to play this double O guitar for hours at a time, and it just feels like an extension of my body. You know, It's great for lounging on the couch and noodling around. But that being said, sometimes guitars that are too small can be a little bit uncomfortable as well. So, my advice is to try out different sizes to find one that suits you best. Like this one suits me just right. Now, are you a small or large bodied guitar person? Let me know in the comments below and do share which model of guitar is your Ace X. And do also follow along my musical journey on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, and my website as I share new videos every single week. And until next time, I'll see you again. Goodbye.